right. Review time. Our favorite time together. Sandisk Extreme Portable Solid State Drive, one terabyte. This is a Costco purchase. It is on sale. I think the sale price is 120 plus tax. This thing is paper thin. I got the envelope in my mail, costco.com order. And I mean, this thing is like a slice of deli meat thin. I mean, you know, roast beef, oven roasted turkey. All right, so it's one terabyte, up to 550 megabytes a second write speed, pretty fast. High speed storage for your photos and videos. Now this is also really cool about this. It does come with this USB-C cable, but it also has an adapter. Some of the ones that you could find that are comparable to this don't include this regular USB adapter. They're only gonna have this USB-C cord. So that's nice that it has that. It also has this uh, carabiner if you are climbing mountains and you need to loop your rope in there, make your life easier. But I think it's super portable, so they include that. You can clip it to your belt. Uh, it's the Extreme Series. So it's supposed to withstand dust and water to IP55 uh, and certified to withstand shock from six and a half foot drops. I was reading back here onto concrete. Um, it does come with a three year warranty. Now this is a Costco pro tip. If you use your Costco city card, you will get an additional two years extension on the manufacturer's warranty. There are some different levels, but it could be up to a five year warranty. Works for PC and Mac. It operates from zero degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius, which is pretty wide range. There's also this uh, software for Rescue Pro. I guess that's some sort of cloud storage Waterproof, three minutes of water flow at 30 kPa. I don't really know what that is, but it sounds like water can be running over it at a, up to that pressure for three minutes. Uh, this read speed, I, I guess this is read speed, 550 megabytes a second read speed. I'm gonna test it. We'll see what it actually does on uh, my MacBook. But that's fast, that's faster than some of the other ones. So this is the drive. Again, I mean, that's less than half an inch thick. It weighs almost nothing. USB-C cord, it's a little short, but I don't really think that's gonna be an issue. Here is the USB-C. This is actually a handy thing. Mm, I, I can figure a lot of uses for this. Uh, this is slotted so you can figure out which way it's supposed to go. But the, now the USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 <laughs> is becoming more and more universal. Uh, this little adapter will probably save you five or six bucks. All right, a little bit of a comparison here. This is my friend Chris's uh, Samsung T7. This is a 500 gig solid state drive. This is the SanDisk Terabyte. Uh, the Samsung is a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, about the same height, maybe a little bit shorter, uh, but it's not ruggedized. So this has this protective case on it. Uh, Width-wise, they are about, about the same. I mean, maybe a 16th of an inch wider on the SanDisk. So I just plugged in the SanDisk first time into my MacBook Pro. This is a 2015 or 16 MacBook Pro. And I don't have any USB-C slots. I have Thunderbolt 2. So I used the adapter uh, to plug it in over here and it did pick the drive up. Um, I 
don't want to use this for time machine. So you can see up here, it did mount the disc right up there. Uh, it's got its uh, encryption stuff. So if you wanted to encrypt the drive, you could, seeing that it's portable, if you lost it, you don't want anyone to get your pictures uh, or any other information you store on there so you can encrypt it. Now I do have a test here for speed. So here's how the test is going. It's about 425 uh, read speed and about 400 and it's about 405 right now on the write speed. And you can see here, this is actually for video recording. Um, it's gonna be able to do ProRes, everything's green there. These tests down here take a little bit longer to get through. Also, if you look on the right here, how fast, you can see that the, some of the read and writes are really, really fast. So my ports are USB 3.0. Uh, you might be able to get slightly faster speed with 3.1 or just going straight USB-C. All right, so now I'm gonna try just to show you a comparison and do a speed test on the Samsung T7. So far it's comparable. The Samsung is slightly slower on the right and the read is slightly slower. Uh, these Samsung drives are more expensive than the SanDisk drives. Uh, the one terabyte, I, th I think it was like $40 more. And one of the issues is, from what I saw, you do not get the Samsung drive with the USB-A or regular USB. And uh, when solid state started to come out, I've been trying to get them, but I don't want to spend an arm and a leg. And with this deal, finally got into a solid state drive. And if there's any issues, I'll do a long-term review, but these are things are usually pretty solid. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more reviews.